Hi there everyone, Addicted to Nature, and today we're gonna to be talking about red plants. I wanna keep this a fast and easy short video, so this video will be taken in one go. Oh my God, here's a shot of my shrimp because I never see them out, but take a look at that. This is just a uh, intermission, so we are gonna go right back to talking about it. In five, four, three, two, one, bye little guy. And the thing is that this video can be signed up in one word, which is extra light. Everything else that you see online probably won't work as well as having another light or having high light. So the first thing that people always talk about is to add an iron fertilizer. All right, let me put this under the desk lamp here for you to see. This is Flourish Iron. It is an iron supplement for the planted tank and it's marketed as being able to keep your red plants red. The way to dose this is one milliliter per, one milliliter per 10 gallons every single week. And I do about 0 0.7, 0 0.8 milliliters every single week for three weeks and it made zero difference to keep my red plants red or keep them from being green. Made zero difference. I spent $10 on this fertilizer. Didn't really do anything for me. So that's the first thing that people always repeat online. And this probably goes the same for Aquarium Co-op's Easy Iron. I've never used it. Maybe it's gonna do wonders. But at least for me, this iron supplement which should have turned my red plants red, didn't really do anything for me. Okay, let me zoom in and show you, okay? Over here, this is my experiment here. This was with one Phoenix Stingray light. And let me show you what this one light looks like, okay? Mm, it is not focused. This is that, with one Phoenix Stingray light. Looks bright, it grows my door baby tears, but it does not keep my plants red. Okay, now add in the second light. Oh, here, let me turn that off for more, most accurate. See, so no more desk lamp. This is one Phoenix Stingray light. Now, turning on the second light, this is what it looks like, being a second light here. And I'm going to spread them out like, ooh, almost dropped that one here. And this is double lighting. Okay, and let me show you this Ludwigia. This is Ludwigia, super red. This is all growth done by a second light. And the reason for why this is super red is because plants, think about the redness as a natural sunscreen for the plant. With double lighting, you're adding a bunch more light in there. The plants don't want to get sunburned. And so they make a bunch more of the red pigment to block out the light. Take a look down here. This is with one Phoenix Stingray. So this is the growth with one Phoenix light and it's green and then you can also see that right in front of you in the screen here take a look at that there's a little bit of white patches on the leaves and originally with one phoenix stingray this these were not here these little holes on the leaves here were not present it was adding that second light made the original plant leaves burn because it was just so high light it was burning my plants but on the plus side it made the new leaves super red and the new leaves do not have that that little patchiness that that sunburn because precisely because they are just so much more red okay so that one of the down downsides i guess of that patchiness of that that second light is the patchiness Take a look at the Rotala Atra. Same thing here. This is with a single light on the bottom, dosing iron, and we get to the top, which is high light, two light fixtures, no iron. Okay, and the reason I think that iron does not help is because iron is included for free in the tap water that you use. It's floating around in the tap water that you use when you water change. Okay, there's already iron in the water and your plants can use that iron and it doesn't, and don't need another fertilizer. Let's take a look at the Walichi. Walichi here, this is, look, it's orange. It's nice orange. Walichi doesn't get as red as the Rotala Atra in the back. That's double light. All of this stuff that I'm showing you is with double light. You can see that the double light is towards the top. Right, and then it gets to the bottom and it's not as bright. 
And so we get all this green and all this yellow, all this green. Now the double light does not, I repeat, does not harm the green plants that I have. So the dwarf baby tears are still dwarf baby tears. They're not burning, probably because they are lower in the water column. And my S repens is still S repens and it, there are no problems with the Anubias or the mosses, okay? And then lastly, let's talk about this plant. This is the Alteranthera reniki mini, 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 mini. This plant is kind of special because, look, let's take a look at this. This leaf here was low light or, or one phoenix light. That's probably medium light. It's not high light, but not, not low light either. And this is with double lighting. So you can see that there's a small difference, but there's really not that big of a difference between the double light and the single light. So if you want a, light, if you want a plant that is okay with just one light picture or, or medium light, I would recommend this one here because it really didn't, did, it didn't make that big of a difference. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the cons of two lightings. First thing you're probably gonna notice is all that algae floating around. This is hair algae. A little bit more hair algae on the Anubius up up here. And then I've got some staghorn in the front on this leaf here. Okay, this appeared after I added my second light. It was not here in the beginning. Even it was not here when I dosed iron. The second thing that I already talked about, I mean, is just it might cause your old leaves to burn a little bit. But any new leaf will be fine. Here's a little better example of the leaves here that I showed you earlier. And then now I'm gonna show you guys my shrimp because I'm not gonna do any video without a close up of my shrimp. And that's all guys. If you wanna keep red plants, very, very easy. Just get that second light. Don't do any fertilizer, don't do that. It's not gonna really help as much as a second light will. Remember, your tap water has a lot of nutrients, has a lot of micronutrients. And if you're regularly dosing any sort of plant aquarium fertilizer, it's gonna have enough iron for your plants to be red. And it's that double light that's going to make that difference. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Addicted to Nature, and if you like this video, please remember to subscribe and comment. See you next time.